Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West. I hope all are well and having a great week. Uh, in this video, I'd like to demonstrate a brand new enhancement that's been provided by 1CNC. And of course, this is going to be 1CNC XR8. And this has to do with face milling. Now, to demonstrate this new enhancement, I'm going to quickly just grid point snap a shape just by left clicking. That looks great. Let's make this a little bit more complicated. Let's add a couple of pockets here. That looks good. And again, I'm just grid point snapping just like that. Okay, so let's take a look at this new face milling enhancement. We're going to head over to the command manager, select stock tool paths, and then we're going to select our facing operation. I'm going to take my cursor, left hand mouse click, all three of those shapes, and then right hand click. Now to demonstrate this new enhancement, I'm going to be using a smaller diameter tool than I would typically use. I'm using a half inch diameter end mill. Speeds and feeds look fine, so we'll click next on that. We're going to be taking this face milling operation just at one Z level at Z0. We'll click next on that. And what we're demonstrating, this new enhancement really applies to zigzag in one direction. This is something you wouldn't want to apply on spiral. So let's start with zigzag. We'll click finish on that. And what you're going to notice now is that within these pockets, you're going to see some rapid moves. And to better show this, why don't we right hand click and let's take this into preview tool path. All right, so right now the full diameter of the tool is engaging the stock. But once the full diameter of the tool engages a pocket or an open area, the tool is going to wrap it up and then safely reposition itself down again. Let's zoom in a little bit. So there's the wrap it up and then the safe reposition down. So what this new enhancement does is it's going to increase the efficiency of the tool path and reduce your cycle time. It's a very nice feature. Now, if you don't want the tool to retract up, if you just want the tool to always stay engaged at one Z level, all you have to do is just pick one shape. So to demonstrate that, we're going to right hand mouse click and I'm just going to use the repick path option and just left click that outside shape only. And now when we do that, the tool path is going to stay engaged just at that one Z level and it won't retract up again. All right. So this is a great new enhancement provided by one CNC XR8 and it provides the ability to make your tool path more efficient and reduce cycle time. It's a great new enhancement. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.